Hey, hey, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to sit with you mamas and share a review, first impressions, and a flip through of my homeschooling planners from the Anna Vance Paper Co. So if you'd like to see more, then let's get started. Hey you, did you hit that play button for the very first time? Well, welcome to the channel. I'm Tasha. This is Tasha Pivots where we talk about all things mamahood and homeschool and how I'm pivoting through this journey. And I'm so grateful that you decided to hang out with me for a bit today. So uh, like in the introduction, I am sharing with you two planners. One planner is from this current year. I'm gonna give you my full review and my thoughts on how I used it, what I liked about it, what I, if there was any pros or cons. And then I'm gonna give you a full flip through and first impressions of my new homeschooling 2021-2022 homeschooling planner from the Anna Vance Paper Co. Now, I have been a planner since I can remember. I love putting down my, my ideas, getting everyone's birthdays down. Um, I, I actually just remember people's birthdays. Once you tell me it, I don't forget. So um, I love just being able to like jog those down. Uh, any activities, any vacations, anything that we have goals, I love being able to have this one packed area to put all this stuff in. And I've been doing that since college and I loved doing it and so when I decided to homeschool that was like one of the number one things I had on my list of findings was a really good homeschooling planner. Now for my first year of homeschooling I just went to my nearest lecture learning and I picked up a lesson plan book that looked like it was for teachers right so it had sections for lines and different subjects and I was like okay this will do for now until I can find something. Uh, but I ended up stumbling onto Anna Vance Paper Co. on Instagram and shout out to Anna. She is such a beautiful soul from what I can see on the social media and just her heart posture to um, honor her family and honor this business that God has blessed her with. And so Anna Vance Paper Co. starts with Anna, but it is fully functioning as a family based home business of doing paper goods from homeschooling planners, journals, nature journals, prayer journals, um, and even meal planning books and, and, and little uh, notepads and things like that. And so I love all of those different things. We have her prayer journals in our home and I even have like a regular, just easy downloadable printable for um, doing a meal plan, but she has a full extensive one. So if you like to meal plan and you like to get your meals out for the week, you might want to check that out. All of her information, um, her Instagram handle and her link to her website will be down in the description below. And so uh, once I stumbled on her, I immediately was just like, these look beautiful. There's so much layers to it. And I did a full unboxing of my first homeschooling planner, which I have right here. Uh, it looks like this. And you can see my full flip through and unboxing of this one, even me planning out the day. I'll link both those videos down here in the description under homeschooling video. And uh, you can check that out. But I truly, um, I, I will say that it was more than I even could expect because when I first ordered this, I didn't know anything about Anna Vance Paper Co. I just was kind of going off of pictures and I saw a little bit of a flip through from one of the homeschooling moms that I follow. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it out. Now, I, when I received it, I was pleasantly surprised with all the extra little areas that are so beautiful and wonderful that you can utilize. And how then after that, I was sold and ready to be prepared for ordering my next one. Now in review, I would say everything, if you are looking for a planner that's got um, sections for you to do recording, uh, for if you have to record for the state that you live in in attendance if you are looking for a section even for yourself inside the planner where it reminds you to read something um, and, or have a scripture or whatever your thought is for your heart for the posture of your classroom and in the space with your children um, there is a section for that and then if you like a more broad uh, spectrum of writing out your lesson plans and being able to see all the lessons as well as all the days I'm listing all these things because that's exactly what you will find in, in the Anna Vance Planner and there's also even more. Um, but I will say the number one thing that you just have to be aware of, which I wasn't at the time, but I also didn't get upset um, because strictly for myself, I know what it's like to be a small business and I know what it's like to hand make 
things and know that um, there's flaws and there's there's you're you don't have a corporation you're not using corporate printers you're using home printers and you're trying to make something and make it quality and send it out at an, a decent time so the time wait I guess is where I'm getting to uh, was probably the most um, not daunting but it just was very extended I purchased my first planner in July and um, not such a great idea for myself since I was already planning to start school in August and she already kind of had like an eight to ten week time frame and I was like okay but that's okay I could just kind of like keep using my old little Lakeshore learning planner and then it'll eventually come well I ended up not getting my planner until October and so I would say that that is literally the only con but like I said me personally I was understand I could understand that things happen and also I purchased in the influx of the time of year and it was also during the time when parents were making quick decisions on saying I'm going to homeschool or I'm going to virtual learn with my kids and I need to be able to write things down I need to be able to know what I'm doing and so there was this huge influx which I think is beautiful for their family and being able to support them in their growth uh, but it also was very overwhelming for us even as a consumer to have to wait other than that, um, I would say that if you are willing to spend a little bit more on a custom planner, then this is the planner for you. But I also have a couple of options from other moms because you guys know if you've been with me for a while, I love supporting momagers uh, that are creating something for others to share in their gift. And uh, so I'm going to link two planners that I know of. One is my friend here, Wendy, on YouTube, who has a beautiful planner that she came out with last year. And then I'm also going to share the Unlikely Homeschool, uh, Brave uh, Homeschooling Planner that I also know. If you're looking for something that you can purchase right away, download it, bind it, and use it like now, then these are some of the options that you might want to check out. Everything else, uh, typically you're going to have to wait an extended time if you're looking for a full um, put together planner. So there's my review on the planner that I currently have. And now I'm going to kind of show you guys, um, I'm going to show you guys right now just the front view. Now I did do a um, unboxing, if you will, on my Instagram. And if I can find the stories, it'll show up right here so you can kind of see me kind of opening it up. But um, I figured I'm just going to show you guys really the inside because this time I customized it. I customized uh, labels and names and all the things. So we're going to take some time and really flip through. I'm going to take you over to the table. So grab you a beverage and let's get into it. All right, guys, here we go. When you open up, you have a little quote, then a letter from Anna, a little page tap divider. And then you're going to turn and you'll see this beautiful quote from Charlotte Mason. And then it's annual overview, which is the first tab and then the rest of the tabs on the right follow. Okay. When you open up the annual overview, you're going to get a two year calendar, which is really cool to be able to map out and see far ahead, a section to even for looking ahead for notes. Then you're going to open up and there's this section that's so beautiful it says this year and you can talk about what you want to do what you want to do less of i am i can i ought i will it's a very great reflective space and if you know me you know i love a reflection section in anything and, and so it has spaces for you to remember things um even throughout the year or things you want to remember right then and there versus to remember and everything else okay then you're going to have a section where it says this year. And again, it's more extensive for you to be able to write down dates or special events that you want to remember. Then you open into yearbook. Now yearbook is going to have this cool film tab, which I kind of just left it to be. But pupils is where it's at. This is where I first started my customization to this planner. I started with adding Zoe's name. She has the entire year calendar, as well as a section for any notes that I might want to add. There's a reading list section for her that I can constantly add all the books. And now I added Josephine. And so that was something I didn't do before uh, because Josephine wasn't in school. But now that we're going to be doing preschool with her, she has her own full section as well. And all the things we want to remember and encourage her to do. Now we're into map your year. As you can see, I already got started. And this I really like because I can actually map out my quarter system that I've started. So I have it already done. I did it already as soon as I got my planner and I mapped out the year. But there's enough space if you are doing a semester system or if you have multiple children and you need more room to map out those lessons you have the space for it 
okay so i really like that now we're going into map your years okay now this looks kind of like what any other one does you're going to look at the calendar you're going to see a sections for you to write and list whatever you want to and each page or each uh, month of that calendar is exactly the same okay so nothing is different there then you're at my favorite part of the planner weekly lesson plans this is where i spend all my time and this is where a huge customization was made i love being able to write out and actually list out all of my um, subjects and plans for that subject so as you can see the huge customization customization sorry that i want to show you is at the top i have every section of what we cover in our homeschool already typed out and i am so ecstatic about that because um before i was writing it and i'm actually going to show you right now with my older planner i didn't know that you could customize this and so i just wrote mine in every week when i would take my sunday to plan out the week for school or if i did it in advance for two weeks i would literally write each subject at the top and now i do not have to i do wish that on that left side bar, I would have just went ahead and put all the days that we do school. That would have made it a little bit easier too. But you know, you live and you learn. I just really like that I can see everything on here. And so um, I even added more lines, which is great because now, like I said, Josephine's joining the crew of homeschool. So now she is a part of that and I have room to fill all those parts in, okay? Next, we are going to head into, well, first I want to share that if you've got multiple kids and you have a full 40-week plan, you see how many pages you're getting. You're getting enough to really cover a full 40-week um, homeschooling year. Now we're in lessons at a glance, which is then a little bit more of an extensive. If you need extra space to put weeks, it has it already labeled from week one to six and continuing on uh, therefore on each page. And I love, love, love that because that gives me an extra area of some particulars or art pieces and things that I can add in. Now we're in miscellaneous, which is also a great part of this planner. I have lesson planner, topic objectives, resources, supplies, activities, anything that I need to remember. This is like my hand dandy dandy um, area here okay so I have all these little sections it has all the weeks uh, already written out completely gives you a checklist for you to check anything you need to especially if you're a recording school also a future curriculum area which is really cool to list out login information if you're a person like me on times that you can't remember your passwords and stuff there's a section for that and then I am so, so happy she left notebook paper in the back because she knew I needed it. <laughs> so there it is, guys. This is my planner. I really enjoy it. I am so glad that I customized it and made it perfect for me. I hope you enjoyed hey seeing guys, this. This is all I had to share with my new planner. I am so excited to continue utilizing um, this space and being able to enter into a new year. Uh, you see I've already jotted some things down and that I am already in the zone of like, this is what we're doing for the quarter. This is where our, excuse me, our schedule looks like. And uh, I, love, I love the quality of paper. I love that I got to customize it the way I wanted to. And I'm sure as I continue to evolve, there will be little things that I actually want to do. Um, and yeah, so if you have any questions more about this planner, or if you would like to see and check out some of their products, please head on over to anavancepaperco.com and you guys can check out all their goods. And yeah, until next time, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll talk to you later.